Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater depth or cover something I have not, please put it into the comments. Today I'm going to be covering enabling 2FA on local and AD user accounts. You can use any authenticator or OTP, not just Google's that you see from the drop down. I have used authenticators from Google, Microsoft, and Cisco Duo in testing and will demonstrate here in the video. So let's start. To begin with 2FA, we have to go to Administration 2FA. By default, 2FA is disabled. When you go to enable it, you only have one choice Google Authenticator. This is kind of deceptive. It's really just an OTP provider on the back end. Uh, so this will work with any OTP. Next, you want to give this a name. In my case, I'm just going to call it the Tech Guys Guide and then a length. And I'm going to use 32. Now, I've observed in testing if you use anything really less than 24 it it doesn't really seem to work quite right so I just leave it at 32 since the nice thing is it uses a QR code and I can scan it on my phone and it will just work now the next is do you want to allow users and I stress users here so there's obviously two main users in PHP IPAM, administrators, and then users that may have groups. So in this example, I'm going to show this is, I'm going to show the difference of what happens with a user. So, and then I'll show it with it on and then it off. So once you've made your choices here, oh, and then there's apply to all users. Now, PHP IPAM 2FA authentication is going to pull everybody that's in users into the users list down here. As you can see, we're currently disabled. So if you apply to all users, if you have a lot of users, maybe that makes sense. But ironically, it's probably better to keep it where you don't. Now, obviously, you have different security requirements. So I'm going to leave this off for right now and um, really I don't want all my local users to be applied to especially my administrators so I'm going to hit save and you'll see that look at that it's pulled in everybody now the reason this is already like this is because it remembered this is actually a test box so this is the default state of everybody so here's my and the, if I go over here and I go to my users you'll see that's all my users right so there's one two three four five users if I go over here and it's reflective of each other so if I apply to all users now I'm gonna have to re put in all this information or I can just enable reset the secret or disable so I'm going to enable and then I'm going to enable here and I can enable that guy too and to get this to refresh you'll see okay I have it enabled but it hasn't been activated now to activate what I'm going to do is open this incognito window and I'm going to log in and I'm going to use I believe that's now this is the code I was telling you and I'm opening my authenticator app I'm using Cisco Duo I'm going to add this to my phone and 
And I am then going to validate. And as you can see, this user, right, can now log in with 2FA. Now, if I go over here to my user account and I look at this, remember I mentioned that the user can turn it on and turn it off? Well, I don't really want my users to do that. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to put my information back in the same. I'm going to leave this off and I'm going to hit save. Now, once that's saved, you see B. Jones is now enabled. So if I log back in and I bring this up, I should hopefully be required to, yes, there it is. And if I look at my user, right, and we go here, they're not able to make any changes. Now, if we look at B. Jones's account, right, you see he's a local database user. So we want to have somebody who's AD, which is T. Jones, right? So let's enable 2FA on T. Jones, right, because he's currently disabled. So 2FA is now enabled for him, but it's not activated. And if I come over here, I'll need to enroll him. So I'm going to use the Windows Authenticator for this guy. And give me one moment. And here we go. And that worked. So now I'm going to authenticate or validate. And if I go over here and look at his account, right, you see he's disabled. However, he is, right, enabled, and he's an AD user, where is he, and an administrator. Now, let's validate. his so remember he's an administrator right so he has full access he can actually come in here and disable a reset for himself but on his user account right it's enforced so hopefully that becomes a little clearer so what i'm trying to say there is that with 2fa he can disable it for himself over here, but the, the regular user can't because they can't see this screen. So, let's see. Well, I think I covered everything I wanted to say. They do have the, you know, you can do this on Apple or Android, uh, the documentation and the... Um, information is down here and you can also see down here you can use any OTP provider. Well, I hope this made 2FA settings in PHP IPAM a little clearer for your use case. I want to thank you for watching my video and as always please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.